What it takes is years of reading history books and countless hours hiking and exploring. But these colonial sites in New Hampshire, they're out here. Today, I found one. Stay tuned. So, as you know, we have some really large permissions that FG has gotten us through the years. Where I am now is one of them, and I've been out hiking for hours looking for the signs. I think I'm sitting on a footprint. We'll take a culture. Yesterday, though, myself and George had gone out. Same thing, hiking for hours. These forests out here seem to go on forever. But keep in mind, hundreds of years ago, this was pasture, farmland, and hopefully where a house sat. So check this out. Yesterday, so far out in the woods, and George gets three classic cultures. Seven inches down. There we go. An oxen shoe? Yeah. Well, well, that's a good sign. That's old. Is. Yep. Uh, Infamous. I wonder if he got what he was shooting at. Oh, man. A big one. We've got to be close to something, George. You realize now all you need is the C ring and a um, button. You've completed the challenge already. <laughs> Very cool. All right, so back to present day. I'm on what looks like a lip. There's a little bit of iron. That's a good sign. We're going to take a culture. So switching it up today, I only brought my Lache hand digger. Pack a little bit lightly. I don't even know how many miles I've hiked, but I've been out here for, woof, two hours looking for this. Oh, brick. That's a great sign. Pork chop, oxen shoe, the usual sign. All right, well, let's check some more. Well, that sounds better in the mid 60s. Square nail. I think we got a structure. All right. <gasps> nice, look at that. Baby pewter spoon. Well, I think it's safe to say I found a home site. Unbelievable. There's just a chunk of dead road out on the side of this mountain and broken off on both ends. Um, for those of you who follow, we are near the after 222 years site, which you know was amazing with the finds and the history. So this is unbelievable. All right, let's see what else we can find. Oh, we got a button. Fantastic. All right, I got me a target. Bring up a 48. Oh, 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 it's complete. Look at that beautiful knee buckle frame. Oh, wow, that rang up so low. And the really cool thing about this area is it predates most of our area by about 20 years. Puts it into about the possibility of the 1730s to 1750. Very early settlers. So this is, this is amazing. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm working the lip where the structure sat. And look at that. Dandy with fancy. Beautiful. And a shank. And not one stitch of trash. I mean, yeah, I dug a piece of sheet metal, but that still in reality is a relic from the time period, letting us know what they had going on for some type of structure. Wow. Wowed. I mean, it wouldn't be out of question to find shotgun shells or rifle casings out here. That's one thing about the depths of the woods. 
hunters have utilized most of it for years. That's all right. All right, so I didn't want to say it earlier, but you know I'm thinking it. A site like this has all the potential in the world for Spanish silver. Especially, it hasn't been touched. It's remote, really old. I got a sharp signal. Oh boy. No, we got something round. Oh, it's a button. It's a big button. Thick. Like a reading or Another target right in the lip. And one of those items that rings up mid tone, rather low, a scutcheon. Beautiful. Forty six. And you know, with doing this, the relics are fantastic. But the exciting thing about this is actually finding the location. Lots of years of reading town history, putting the pieces together, and putting the time on the ground. Well, that's a piece of something different. I may need help IDing. If anybody knows what that's a piece of, let me know. Rang up real low, like upper 40s. Well, I have no idea what that is. It's lead. Never seen one. Oh, look at that. Sorry I'm not filming a lot of the signals. I have limited time because of the hike in and out. But look at that. A beautiful thimble. Wow. Well, that's just awesome. And I'm right inside the footprint, which is flat, so I gotta be going soon. I have a long hike out, and I'm not sure which way I'm going back. I ain't going the way I came, that's for sure. Iron buckle. It's interesting too, I just walked around a bit. It's about an acre, like the one about a half a mile from here. Didn't see a well, nor a barn. Oh, oh cool, button. Man. All right. Another upper 40 signal, and another thimble. Beautiful. These things are big, too. Wow. Well, with that thimble, I'm gonna leave. Yeah, I know, I've only been here a short period of time, but I got a good hike out, and obviously I wanna let the others know about it. This is unbelievable. What an amazing quick dig, right? All right, so we'll see you again sometime soon. You. Bet we will be back here. Remember, time is life. Don't waste a second of it. Isn't it funny? George gets us all these great permissions, right? Mm -hmm. Because George knows everybody, but nobody knows who Faceless George is. <laughs> that's right, that's exactly right. All right, so here's the thought. To the regular world, He's Bruce Wayne. To the digging world, you're Batman. <laughs> Here we go.